so much for coming back to my channel for part two of my bins haul. If you haven't watched part one yet, um, make sure to go check that out so you can see all the amazing goodies I found, including some very high-end designer pieces. I will be showing you the shoes and the home decor that I picked up at the bins. So most of the stuff I picked up is going to be posted on my Poshmark account because I am a full-time Poshmark reseller on Poshmark Canada. And if you like content about Poshmark, thrifting, and DIYs, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be able to see more videos like that. Oh my gosh, this car! Someone's alarm keeps going off! It happened in video one, happened in video two. Alright, so first up for shoes, we have this cute little pair of... Why do I say little for everything? Cute little, I mean they're not really little. These are by Stella. These cute pair of combat boots. Stella. I'll have to look at those. Because I know combat boots, they've always kind of been in, but I guess they're becoming more of a trend. Oh, almost forgot again. Gotta keep track of how many pieces I find so I can actually come up with a total of what I spent. It's just my easiest way to do it instead of like dividing the cost by the amount of pounds. It's just. Just trust me on this, it's a lot easier. Um, next I have a pair of Converse. Just black high top Converse. I think they're men's. These are little girls Sorel boots. I have sold a pair similar to this. Actually it was the same, same color, but just a different size. These are really cute too. They're just Joe Fresh, nothing special. Oh, this one's missing the lining. Then we have this pair of Betsy Johnson heels. They're in good condition. There's a few spots, but like, it is what it is, they're shoes. Got little crystal bows on them. Then I have, oh, these are fun. I'm gonna try these ones on actually. So these are a pair of bogs. It's a little pink boots. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're definitely gonna fit me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes, those are so cute. So these might become part of my personal closet. I don't know, they're like they're kind of cute, but they're also kind of ugly. I don't know. <laughs> Rebound. I think a while ago I wanted to buy a pair of hunter clogs, but like I had them in my likes for so long and I just didn't buy them. And then when I finally wanted to buy something, I messaged her and she was like, oh, they're actually sold. I'm like, Oh crap, guess I won't be buying those then. These are weird. Atelier. Oh, is this the same brand as that coat? Because the in my previous video I talked about the Rudsack coat that I bought. Uh, Atelier. Shoes. And I was kind of thrown off at first because the, the tag says Atelier North or something like that, or Noir. And I was like, what? But then I looked below and it said Rudd Sack. Okay, the comps on these are good. They're like 45, 50 bucks. They're like these little leather sneakers, I guess. These are a pair of Joseph Abbott. Did I look up comps on these? Well, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh yeah, 110, 80 dollars, 120. Looking good. Yeah, size 12. Whoops, this got mixed up in my shoe bag. This is really nice. This is Matt Nat, which is like one of my favorite purse brands because they make their purses out of recycled water bottles and vegan leather so it's not harming any animals and I'll have to find the style name of this don't know what it is really but yeah it's really good condition there's like a scuff on the side but like it is what it is super cute very minimal then we have a pair of toms these are just some pattern one I don't really pick up toms at the thrift store anymore just because they usually price them up, which is stupid, but yeah, cute little toms. Birkenstocks, I think these are kids, yeah, size 33. Little girl's Birks. And, oh, another purse, whoops, I accidentally mixed some purses in with my shoes. Oh, okay, so this I didn't see a brand on before, but I bought it because it was cute. But now I see that it is Mango, which is a really good brand. And it's this cute little bucket bag. Yes, I love that. Oh, another one, another bag that got mixed in. So this was one of the first things I found too. Goodwill wanted $5 for it. Um, let's see if I can like peel the Goodwill 
tag. I'm trying to keep track of like all the Goodwill tags and I'm realizing that there's probably a bunch of the shoes that had it on it that I just didn't look at. This is from Yes Studio. And it's just, just this little, oh crap. Did not check it over for Foss. I get too excited at the bins and sometimes I don't do quality checks, which I really should start doing, but I don't get it. It's new with tags, but it has this huge slit on the top. So, mm, probably not gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now. We'll decide later. I might just sell it as is, but we will see. Okay, this was another one of, ah! This is another thing that I found right when I got there, which was a great way to start the day. Hunter boots! Yeah, these are usually like $25 at the thrift store, or more. I've seen them for $50 and they were in crap condition. So yeah, these are really good. Cost me a couple bucks. Gotta clean those bad boys up. This is probably my favorite find for me. Okay, for the longest time, I've been wanting a pair of Blundstones. And I thrifted a pair and they have like a little hole in them, which is not a huge problem, but they're like in pretty worn condition. Then I found a pair of like imitation Blundstones, which I wear too, but still like not the real thing. So I found these and they're in my size. Well, like they're size nine and a half, so they're a little bit big. I think they're men's nine and a half actually, because they look big. Yeah. And they have like some paints and some scuffs, but like nothing that I can't fix up. And like they're just for me, so I don't really care. But like, look, like Blundstones for a couple bucks. I'm so happy about that. Then we have, I've been picking up a lot of Sorrells because, you know, Sorrells sell. These have some damage to the soles and a little scuff there, but other than that, they're pretty decent. Then I have, what are you? Oh, you are beautiful. These are Chinese laundry and they have the new tag on them for $60. Very cute. What is this? No, did I really do that? I think I put this in my cart because I was like, I'm gonna look for the match and then I never found the match. So this is pretty much useless now. I mean, I've heard of some people selling like single shoes on eBay, so maybe I'll try that with this. Then I picked up this pair of gold coach loafers. They're like in okay condition, but they reminded me of my first Poshmark sale, which was a pair of coach loafers. All right, next I have, anytime I find empty boxes or like anything I can use for shipping, I just bring it up and I'm like, hey, these are just empty boxes. And then they just like give them to me for free because like I don't think they would charge me for empty boxes. That'd be kind of ridiculous. So this is an Aldo shoe box and just a little tiny box, good for shipping. Next I have, this is a little wall shelf. Um, I think it, oh no, we lost the little doodad. Well, that'll have to be fixed. This is perfect for all my tax needs because I need to be more organized. And yeah, just a little big file folder. It's got the little numbers and stuff so I can actually organize. Because this year when I did taxes, I just like handed my accountant everything in a binder. I mean, she liked how it was organized, but I want to be more organized. All right, so that binder thing brings us to 100 items in total from all the parts so far. Then I found literally a roll of tape. It cost me like two cents, not even kidding. A clicker, and it still works. These things are going for like 100 bucks on eBay. Like these are for like university students, you know, like the PowerPoints. So I grabbed that, probably cost nothing. Some fine tip markers for writing my cards. And this is really cute. It's a little hanging planter, like a little wicker basket. And I have, these were in the same bin, two little decorative mirrors. I already have one hanging up in our bedroom right now. Then we have, this is really cute. It's a cork purse and it's got gold glitter in it and it's by Jewel. And funny story with this, so like with the new Goodwill outlet rules right now, it's only one person per bin. So I was going up to this bin and there was a girl who was shopping on the end, which is not allowed by the way, and she was like looking at this bag. So I went to the X, cause there's red X's on the floor and like if you're on the X, you're at that bin. 
So then I went over there and then she came up beside me and kept looking and then one of the employees came over and was like, only one person at a bin per time. And then I was like, I'm on the X here. And then she was like, well, I was here first. And I was like, well, you were shopping on the end. And she was like, no, I was right here. So I'm like, okay, I decided to be the bigger person. I just left. I'm like, you were obviously on the end. Like you were breaking the rules. But whatever, I got that cute purse that she didn't take. So thanks, rude lady, for not taking that purse. Tord gift bag. Because like when I sell Tord stuff, I like to put it inside of this and then put it in the poly mailer. It just makes it really cute. Then I found a couple coach purses. I'm sure that they are authentic. This one is a green leather. And this one needs some surface cleaning. It's just the colorful coach purse. Blue blue lemon bag. All right, we're down. We're getting down to the end here. I actually found a poly mailer. Amazon poly mailer and I showed the lady I'm like yeah she's an empty mailer can I just have it for shipping another one of these file folder things for receipts because like that's like perfect length for a receipt oh these are stunning these might even fit me let me try but I don't really wear heels that much so I don't really have a purpose for them nope they're a little bit too narrow and they are from I peeled off the thing to see where I think it's Gap yeah someone put like weird memory foam things in them but yeah, like how cute are these? Little gap faux suede heels. Some marks, but like overall good condition. I don't know why I crossed my leg. I always do that. Then we have, these are just like for your bra so you can hide the straps for me. Pancake and grilled cheese flipper for me. Little cute Sorel booties. So cute. And these, oh these were cute. I couldn't find the match for this at first so I was getting sad. But then I found it after some digging. They're Halston Espadrilles. I don't think they'd fit me yet. Too small. So sad. And then we have a triangle bag that comes with their bathing suits. And I have some of these and they're like so soft. They're really great for the beach. So I found this one in black. In the haul that I did with Alinka, I had 42 items that I did not show. So that brings the total of items to one, let me find it, 164. So and I counted up the Goodwill tags. So for 17 items, it cost $126 from Goodwill for just 17 items. And my total haul cost me $195.34. I got 164 items for $195.34. So doing the math, that rounds out to be 83 cents per item, which is like mind blowing. Like considering some of the stuff I found, like. The $1,200 coat, it's unreal. So that's a real great cost of goods. So that concludes my bins haul. If you saw anything that you like, they will be available in my Poshmark. And that is linked below along with my other social media. Garbage truck, can you not? If you like content about thrifting, DIYs, and Poshmark, then make sure to subscribe to me, click the little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time, bye.